Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good, and we're here today to talk about Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Yes, that's right. It's our ultimate farming guide to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, where we try to keep it simple. We were talking about the farming requirements and the difficulty of those. We talk about some side teams you can farm, where everything leads you. We talk about the mods for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and just give some overall thoughts on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren in general on your roster. Now let's talk about this guy. As far as the farming requirements, it's a pretty simple farm. And I'm, I'm hang on a second, hang on a second. I don't know when you're watching this. Ray Darkseid just came out, and this is awesome. <laughs> the, they're doing a lot of things that are bothering me with the game lately. But this character, this character, and by the way, it, it she did a thing here a minute ago. She's not doing it right now. Did a thing here a minute. Well, she, she it flipped out the lightsaber. I wanted this character years ago. I'm so glad she's in game. She's first order. She's going to do a lot to lift Kylo, uh, the Spring Leader Kylo Ren team. I can't wait for this character in game. And she looks just absolutely, I mean, that, she looks more like Daisy Ridley than any of the Ray characters. Absolutely. So there we go. All right. So the farming requirements for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren are pretty basic. They're pretty basic. It's all the First Order characters in the game, uh, Ray is not required. Now, this is interesting to me. I guess they're putting... Yeah, they're... Why are they putting her as a requirement? That's interesting to me. She's not a requirement here. So she's not listed as a requirement. But I guess she... Oh, I guess you can use her for the journey if you have... Okay, so if you have Sith Ray, you can... Dark Side Ray, you can use her in for the journey. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. Now... You're basically going to require all of the First Order characters. That's the basic requirement for the game. Only a couple Relic 7s in there. Kylo Ren Unmasked and uh, and uh, original Kylo Ren. Everybody else is Relic 5 or Relic 3 that's required for this farm. Pretty easy stuff. You also need Veteran Smuggler Han Solo, which I won't be able to get to here. Let's go ahead and jump out to... I'll, I'll do it here. Well, no, I can't do it here. He's not required. Yes, he is. He could be using the journey. There's Veteran Smuggler Han Solo. He's also required. I'm all over the place. Sorry about that. He's also required for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Dear old dad. Needed for the farm. And uh, and that's kind of it. Except for. Except for. You're going to have to farm the finalizer. And we don't have the finalizer journey up today in game. So we kind of have to just go look at ships and talk about the ships that are required for the finalizer on your roster. Which we, Our first stop here is going to be... The first order ships. You need TIE Silencer, you need Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle, and you need first order TIE Fighter. Along with the finalizer at five. Well, you need those to unlock the finalizer. Now, we used to in game talk about farming TIE Echelon and Special Forces TIE Fighter because it used to counter the Executor. That is no longer true with Punishing One. But regardless, you need TIE Silencer, Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle, and first order TIE Fighter. This is the place where people fall down the most in farming supreme leader kylo ren they forget about the ships it is an extensive far a ship farm to get supreme leader kylo ren unlocked and this takes up about well less than half of it actually but kylo ren's command shuttle people will forget to farm this until later in the farm so don't forget the ships and that includes bounty hunters you've got to have the houndstooth you've got to have the xanadu blood and you've got to have the slave one on your roster in order to unlock Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and the Finalizer. That's the important thing to note here as you're looking to farm the Finalizer. Now that takes us to our biggest overlap. Out of all of the farming for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, the First Order characters really have no overlap with any other characters in the game. You look at this, you're not going to be using Phasma on some other weird team. There's no other farming that requires Phasma. Now, I will grant one small thing. To get BB-8, you have to have a First Order team, but you need them at, like, Gear 7, maybe. 7-star Gear 7, you can get BB-8 unlocked. So it's an easy journey. It's not hard to get. So you do need First Order characters to unlock BB-8. That's it. That's it. Uh, and you need Spedra Smuggler Han to unlock Jedi Training Ray, but again, not a high gear level. These characters, aside from this farm, don't really go anywhere else, and... It's it's a unique thing because these were our first two Galactic Legends. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and Rey were our first two Galactic Legends. And their farms just don't overlap with a lot of the other farms. When the next one came out, they started going to like Jedi Knight Luke and Jedi Master Luke and, and uh, Darth Vader and all that stuff. 
but they did not do it for the for uh, for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren here specifically. So the primary overlap on this farm is going to be the finalizer farm. And the way that it overlaps is these bounty hunters specifically. Slave One, Houndstooth, and Zeta New Blood are required for the finalizer. And they're also required for the executor. So that's why when we talk about SLKR farming Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, we're going to overlap that with the executor farm in a lot of cases. And it's why Kylo Ren kind of floats on the outside of that Jedi Knight Luke farming path. You know, Jedi Knight Luke leads you into Jedi Master Luke and Jabba and Leia Organa and Profundity and Executor overlaps a lot with Jedi Knight Luke along the way with the things you got to farm there, Darth Vader, uh, the bounty hunters to get Chewbacca. So there's a lot of overlap there with that Jedi Knight, with that Jedi Knight Luke farm. And this is kind of a, a, a lingering on the outside just because of the ship farm itself. The character farm, no tie-in at all to Jedi Knight Luke. The, the bounty hunter ships tie into Gen to the Jedi Knight Luke farming path. So something to really keep in mind if you want to kick off that Jedi Knight Luke farming path, which I'll direct you to my free-to-play farming guide to take a look at that. This Supreme Leader Kylo Ren would not be a bad place to start on your roster. Now, as far as the difficulty of the farm, it's not that difficult. I did this three years ago free-to-play, and it took me nine and a half months. I think right now you could probably do it in seven, seven and a half. Maybe we may test that out next year. But I think free to play, you can farm Supreme Leader Kylo Ren pretty quickly on your roster. Now let's look at the primary teams and, and what you'll be doing here. I want to talk about two things first. Uh, Phasma has a Territory Wars Omicron. Right here, it's a Zeta and Omicron. Your guild might want you to do this for early uh, gil early Territory War play. It's a, it's a pretty good Territory Wars Omicron for early play. First order type pilot Omicron. I'm gonna tell you kids, it looks really cool with everything it does. Add 100 speed, plus 50% critical damage. Uh, they all gain max health, etc., etc. It doesn't really add that much to the team. It, there are a few teams that'll beat them once you add that. Wampa still comes out and crushes it with, with prejudice. So I don't really like the first order type out Omicron very much at all. And as far as the other teams, your primary team is gonna be Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren Unmasked, Hux, Sith, uh, Sith Trooper here, and then either First Order Officer or First Order Stormtrooper. It's a big argument and discussion out there. Whatever. I think it's probably six of one, half dozen of the other. And the mods for each of these guys, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, you're going to want a speed set with a crit damage triangle because he's always going to crit. An offense triangle because here's an offense cross. That's what you want there. And you need more speed than I've got. But an offense triangle sacrifices what's 42 minus eight and a half that is a uh, 33 and a half you sacrifice 33 and a half percent damage it's not exact i know yell at me later you sacrifice damage by putting offense on there rather than crit damage so crit damage and an offense cross there but as much speed as you can get on supreme leader kylo ren then it goes to java because it filters back to a different uh for uh for kylo ren unmasked you want as much health and defense as you can get on this bad boy. Maybe even crit avoidance here. Reason being, Kylo Ren Unmasked recovers 8% health every time he takes damage. So remember that if he's the leader, he recovers even more health but when he, when he, if he gains debuffs. But that's he's not usually going to be the leader anymore. So he's going to recover 8% health every time he takes damage. And that's why you want a bunch of health and defense on Kylo Ren Unmasked. Hux is getting him out for just straight up speed. You want him to pass the turn back to Spring Leader Kylo Ren as often as possible. Get that little call it's call to action where he calls everybody to assist. These are the things you want with Hux. Just speed, 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 speed. Everything else is secondary. Um, you want your Sith Trooper modded for offense or crit damage. He's going to get a bunch of bonus turns here whenever with his Zeta on there. Whenever another First Order or Sith ally is defeated, the cooldown of Vengeant Blast is reset. It's an AoE shot where he hits everybody. It feeds into Supreme Leader Kylo Ren's ultimate. His ultimate is charged when enemies take damage, and it's double charged when they take crit damage. So you want Sith Trooper here to do that AoE. And by the way, one note here as we look at First Order Officer and First Order Stormtrooper next. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is really bad. Oh, I need a mod here. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is really bad at keeping his team alive. <laughs> Just FYI, usually in battles, he'll be the last one left, especially if you're in a difficult battle for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Everybody else is going to die, so that set. Sith Trooper resetting. Every time somebody dies, Sith Trooper gets a turn and launches an AoE because he resets the cooldown. It's going to be really important to charging the first ultimate charge for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. 
First order officer, I've got him modded wrong. You want him to have as much speed as possible. A lot of people will say you want him faster than Hux. I don't agree with that, but whatever. It's used as a counter for Jabba and other Galactic Legends in the game. First Order Strunk Trooper adds a second tank because they auto-taunt under Supreme Leader Kylo Ren's lead. You just want as much health and protection as you can get on them in defense. You can see I don't really have him modded all that well at all. He just needs to kind of stand there and absorb as much damage as possible to give Kylo a little bit of opportunity to go out there and do something. And he will also counter-attack. Um, if you got a Zeta... He can call a random ally to assist, but one of these is a counterattack. He's got a chance to counterattack here, right? 65% counter chance. Yeah, so when he counters, that also free feeds Supreme Leader Kylo Ren's um, uh, uh, ultimate there. Early in game, if you put a Zeta on OG Kylo, he can counter Old Republic and does some solo work. It's not really a thing that much anymore, and I wouldn't really bother with the Zeta on there. So those are my thoughts on this team in general. Zetas you need. you got to have the Hux Zeta. you got to have the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren Zeta. I think that these, if you're going to be using KRU on the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren team, both of his Zetas are kind of superfluous. So although Scarred can be really important for the journey to get Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, but it's not all that important. But the Hux Zeta is necessary to get to, to get the journey done. Sith, uh, uh, Sith Trooper Zeta is really important here, again, to, re to load that turn meter every single time. What are my general thoughts on this journey? I think it's a really good opening journey, a really good first Galactic Legend for folks. As I mentioned, it kind of sits on the outside, the, the outskirts of the Jedi Knight Luke journey, which is the most important early journey in the game to get you to Jabba for all those mods you get. It's a very easy Galactic Legend to farm, although the problem is that none of these characters really overlap in other farms. When we look at Jedi Knight Luke farm, when we look at uh, farming Anakin, these these farms, Anakin, Jedi Knight Luke, they kind of overlap with a lot of different farms. If you farm Jedi Master Kenobi and Lord Vader and Ahsoka, there's a lot of overlap over there. If you farm Jedi Knight Luke and Jabba and Leia and, uh, and Jedi Master Luke, there's a lot of overlap in those farms. There's no overlap here with Jedi uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren except in the fleets to get to the finalizer. And those are my thoughts on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Let me know what you think in comments below. Hopefully this helps you as you are buying Lightspeed bundles and moving your way into Supreme Leader Kylo Ren here in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I hope you all have a great day. I will talk to you very soon. Always remember, Nooch too good.